Hello, welcome to lesson two. This topic or this lesson talks about uh, the, the idea of addiction within the older adult population, our medication society, and some current statistics. We um, off the bat start talking about um, hold on. common diseases and medical complications that older adults tend to face and those diseases and medical complications frequently are medicated by the medical establishment. And one of the, the, the big issues that's driving this topic or, or this unintentional misuse and abuse of medication with older adults and with all ages is our growing reliance on prescription medication as the solution to, to health problems. And, you know, science is, has grown by leaps and bounds, and we have marvelous and wondrous drugs that's able to increase quality of life, uh, extend life spans, and um, uh, take care of, of minor issues that, that in, in years past or life limiting. So I, I list some of those diseases that that are ailments that older adults tend to face. And I, I created this list in terms of this list is not all inclusive and it's on page three of this uh, this lesson folder or, or this lesson screens. But the, the list also includes or or part of the most commonly advertised uh, medications that's directed towards older adults, meaning the ailments on this list are most frequently on TV or in newspapers or magazines or directed towards older adults in, type, in some, type of, some type of TV commercial, some type of media where the manufacturing company is saying, do you suffer from uh, nutritional issues or pain issues? Please consider buying or asking your doctor to prescribe drug X, Y, and Z. And 30, to 30 years ago, 20 years ago, even 10 years ago, that was pretty unheard of that uh, pharmaceutical companies, drug companies, would actually be marketing towards the patient, not just the doctor. Companies have always marketed their products to the doctor. But now these, these medications are being marketed towards the patient of all ages. So more common than not, many patients walk in the doctor's office now, tells the doctor, 60% of us would tell the doctor, you know, doctor, I have researched my problem on the internet, and I think I have this, and I think I need this drug. In years past, that never occurred, but more frequently now, because of the marketing and the media attention that's being paid to patients, that is occurring. And it's, it's dramatically shifted the um, uh, place of authority during the medical relationship for the good and the bad. We need to have much more empowered and, and uh, responsible patients, but we also need to take the, the expertise of the doctor uh, and, and trust in that proposed expertise. So this long list of, of drugs are common drugs that's being marketed towards uh, older adults. Um, and some of these medications have questionable reliability or effectiveness. Although they have been approved, does some of the drugs are more effective than others in terms of meeting their goal. And many of these drugs are being used for off-label purposes, meaning the drug was approved by the Federal Drug Administration for one certain reason. Uh, for example, uh, drug A was approved to treat arthritis. And technically, that's the only way the drug is supposed to be used. Although, there's been other research that's been supported or, or doctors have found through trial and error, huh, this arthritis drug that's only been approved for that reason might also work for this other symptom. So I'm going to use this drug, even though it's not approved, for this other symptom. And we begin this, this process of, of using drugs for um, off-label reasons. 
and, and this, this list goes on and on. We're going to talk about this um, societal uh, fascination with medication and, and this idea that there's a magic bullet out there for, for, for mental health issues, for behavioral issues, for physical issues, as we work our way through the semester. It's a really important topic that's, that impacts older adults maybe more than any other population. And, and to introduce that idea, I've included a, a, a short video uh, of a speech that was given on the, the floor of the Senate by Senator uh, uh, Dorton that you will be watching, that he addresses um, this issue of advertising towards older adults and patients at large in, in a way that many might consider to be unethical or concerning for the goal is to sell the medication to, to as many people as possible, not necessarily to address the health needs of that particular population. I've also included some news briefs from Congress and, and the President uh, from the White House, from President Obama, that you may want to read. There, there's also two additional videos that's optional you may want to view. Um, and below these press releases, they're pretty lengthy, but, but could be interesting if, if you're really passionate about this topic. I've also included um, some slides related to um, our textbook that some of the items I consider somewhat most important. Usually um, I'll provide something similar in every lesson. They might not be slides. Uh, the, um, uh, these important points might be in, in some other format. I've actually included a narrated uh, slideshow presentation uh, for those of you who, who want to hear some notes from me. It's about 15 minutes. I've included the presentation um, where you can actually flip through the presentation without any narration yourself and a copy that you can download and, and print off in PDF format. Also um, want to include some current statistics about this growing um, topic and trend. Some students pointed it out our textbook is a little bit old. It is. Intentionally, it's, it's a good one. Although some of the data is, is, is older that we can't rely on. So I want to present some, some common and current data about how common and frequently older adults are visiting emergency rooms and seeing their doctors for issues associated with uh, addiction misuse, well, drug misuse and abuse and, and possible addiction. I've also included two discussion boards. One discussion board about how we talk about this issue with family members when we have an older adult who is, is maybe drinking too much, for example. How do we broach that conversation? What do we say? What, what, have we learned anything thus far that might help us have that conversation? Then the second discussion board about of statistics that I want you to, to be able to dig up on your own. So, uh, pretty long lesson. Lots of stuff to watch and interact with. Uh, please let me know if you're having any problems or concerns, and I'll be happy to help. Take care.